So in this problem, we're given a table, and the question says, does the table show a probability distribution? We could read the question. Let's go ahead and do that. When conducting research on color blindness in males, a researcher forms random groups with five males in each group. So they, they're taking groups of five males, and this variable here, x, is the number of males in the group who have a form of color blindness. Okay, so the probability that there are zero males in the group with color blindness is 0.654. The probability that there are exactly three males, for example, is 0 0.003. That's how you read the table. Uh, what we want to know is, is it a probability distribution? So you're supposed to add these up and make sure you get one. If you don't get one, then you have to pick the correct choice among the other choices. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be one, but let's, let's check. 0.654 plus 0.294 plus 0 0.048 plus 0 0.003, plus 0 0.001, and yeah, we get one. So you would say, yes, the table shows a probability distribution, right? All of these are probabilities. They're all numbers between 0 and 1. They add to 1. They're numerical, not categorical, as it says here in the second part. Um, so you just click Check Answer. Good stuff. The next two questions are going to ask for the mean and standard deviation. So mu is the mean, and then the question after this will ask for sigma, which is the standard deviation. So what you do is you click this little box here, you left click, and then click open in stack crunch. Okay, so left click the box, open in stack crunch, and it puts all of the data in stack crunch for us. Okay, then you go to stat, calculators, custom. Okay. Stat, calculators, custom. Let me do that again. Let me do it from scratch so you see it. So I'm going to close this. Click the little box. Open in Stat Crunch. Stat, calculators, custom. And then values. The values, um, those are the x's. And the weights, that's p of x. Okay, so first thing and second thing. Uh, first thing and second thing. Click Compute. And then there's the answers. So mu is going to be the mean, so 0.4 right there. Sigma is going to be the standard deviation, so 0 0.6. So 0.4 is the mean, 0.6 is the standard deviation. 0.4 is the mean, 0.6 is the standard deviation. So the mean is 0.4. OK, fantastic. And there's our sigma. We said that was 0.6. That's it.